What's up everybody, this is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another Ableton Live video tutorial. Today I'm gonna to show you how to get Tom Cosm's awesome external resampler 1.0 up and running to use internally on a PC using Ableton Live. When I first saw his introduction video, I was really pumped because I have a lot of preset racks and using different VSTs and not everybody has these VSTs. So I was like, yes, I want to be able to give the masses my patches and not require them to have massive or serum or operator or anything like that. And this device kind of sets everything up for me to to automate it. And if you didn't see his video, what it does is it automatically cycles through each note of a patch, either on an internal instrument or an external instrument. And he kind of geared it towards the external. If you have like an external synth and you want to sample it inside into your computer or resample it in into your computer, then you'd use this. But I really wanted to use it for the stuff that's already inside my computer. And you have to kind of do some virtual routing with virtual MIDI pipes and virtual audio lines to get Ableton to communicate with the device itself. And it was a little bit confusing for me at first, but I've got it working now. So I figured I would go ahead and share with you guys how to set it up just in case you run into the same problem if you wanted to do the same thing. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is download two programs that are free that I have found. Uh, the first one is called VB Audio Virtual C. And if you just type that in or go to the blog post, there'll be links on the blog post to everything that you want to download. But this is the audio line, the virtual audio line that will send audio out of Ableton Live and into Tom Cosm's device. And the other thing you're going to need is the Loop B internal MIDI pipe, which is going to pipe MIDI information back and forth between Tom Cosm's external resampler and Ableton Live. So again, links to both of those on the blog. They're both free. So if you haven't yet, go ahead and download Tom Cosm's external resampler. Again, links on the blog. First thing we're going to do is set up the preferences inside of Ableton Live. I'm just going to use the regular driver that for the laptop. You can use the ASIO, but just for the sake of time and ease, I'm going to use the DirectX. And then for the audio output, you're gonna choose one of these. They both work, but I'm just gonna choose the cable input VB Audio Virtual C Wave, boom. And then we're gonna come down to MIDI and make sure that the Loop B internal MIDI is on and remote control is on. And that is for the input section. And that's the only thing you need to do inside of Live to get things cooking. Next thing you wanna do is open up Tom Cosm's external resampler and hit the audio card options. Then you're going to want to use the port audio down here. Any one of these works, excluding ASIO because I'm using the MM DirectX. So MME, Windows Direct Sound, Windows Wasapi would work. All three of those work. I'm just going to choose Direct Sound. Input device is the cable output that's coming from uh, Ableton Live. So we want to choose that VB Audio Virtual Cable. Perfect. And for the output, I'm just going to choose this as Fono Gio Vito. It just means my headphones because that's what I'm wearing right now where I'm recording the video. And that's where I want to be able to hear the sound that's being produced. Um, if I don't have that on, it's going to come out of the speakers or it won't come out at all if I have none selected. This just is what you're, you're going to be able to hear what it's doing. If you want to be able to hear it, you select wherever you want to be able to hear it happening. So that's that. I'm going to close it out. And after you do that, you're going to hit refresh MIDI ports and hopefully loop B internal MIDI will be there and you want to select that. The next thing you're going to want to do is turn on that little microphone if it wasn't already turned on so you can be able to hear the sound and then you want to hit test. Uh, I forgot to mention before that you should have some sort of MIDI device on a MIDI track inside of Ableton. Um, I'm just not sure how it's going to work if you have more than one MIDI device. So when I'm doing my resampling, I'm just going to have one open at a time just to make things easy and just to make sure things are working right. So right now I just got this reggae guitar MIDI instrument that I made a while back and I'm just going to go ahead and run it. I'm going to run it from the C1 to C3. And one bug that I did run into and Tom helped me work it out was it was only looping on the first note that I had selected at the start and it wasn't cycling through all the notes until the end. And what I did was just move the steps to plus three and hit begin and it cycled, it worked, everything was fine, but it's going plus three and I wanted plus one. So then I just moved the steps back down to plus one and hit begin and it worked. So I'm just gonna, if you run into a problem, go ahead and try that workaround. And I know Tom's trying to figure out what happened and he's trying to work on a fix for it, but for now, 
that's just what you're gonna do. So the next thing you wanna do is turn the velocity to where you want it. I'm gonna go 127, sounds pretty good. And the sustain and release is just, you wanna make sure those are as long as your note is what you want your note to be. This is perfect for the guitar pluck that I'm kind of going for here. So everything should be good. And then I'm gonna hit select folder. I'm gonna to go to the desktop and I'm gonna choose uh, tester, I hit okay, choose the file name and then just name it something unique and hit begin. But anyway, uh, I went ahead and stopped it. I didn't go through them all because I had already done it before, but that's it. That's how it's done. That's how to get it working inside internally in Ableton Live and in internal VSTI and be able to resample those to be able to spread them out to the masses. Anyway, I hope that helped and we'll see you next time. Peace.